as well come so today we are doing some jamaican brown stew chicken as you can see we have half of a chicken here and it's a brown stew this now the ingredients include maggie all-purpose seasoning maggie chicken seasoning browning black pepper bell pepper tomato carrot onion scotch bonnet pepper peg of garlic and thyme Alright guys, so you're gonna now we'll break down these bits. So they wrapped our chicken is cut into bits. Okay, so now that we have finished cutting, we'll now season our chicken. We'll add one tablespoon of Maggie all purpose. tablespoon of maggi chicken season one tablespoon of my homemade jerk season right and then I'll add a half of a teaspoon of black pepper half a tablespoon of browning I will now begin to mix these things you can see my chicken's tail is not the brown consistency that I wanted so I'll go ahead and add one fourth of a teaspoon of browning to this just to give it some more color now cover this and allow it to marinate for at least 10 minutes alright guys so since we have our chicken marinated we're just gonna go right into it and cut our seasonings set aside so there we have our onion now move on to the carrot Right, 
Okay, so now chicken is finished marinating. I'm going to turn my stove on, place it on high, and place a pot on it and allow my pot to season as it become hot. So now that my pot is hot, I will now add one eighth of a cup of vegetable oil. and allow this to become smoking hot alright guys so my oil has begun to smoke so I will now start to add my chicken Get a knife here on the side. Yeah, you can allow it to start it. And now we will turn our chicken. Give it a stir. And flip them over. Now this process will take about 15 to 20 minutes. Because we will allow the chicken to saute properly. So guys, we will continue to saute our chicken until it comes to a golden brown consistency and the meat becomes firm. Sauteing the chicken helps to bring out the natural flavor of the meat. So sauteing is a good process. Okay, so after sauteing for about 15 minutes this is the consistency that we are looking for you want your meat to become firm yes so that's the consistency that we are looking for so now that the chicken is finished sauteing okay, we will go ahead and add our seasoning that we have prepped already and we will be adding the honey and the carrot the tomato and the thyme and garlic and pepper to be saving the bell peppers for later so we just going to add those into our pot cut our flame to a medium height and stir these into our chicken Then we'll cover our pot and allow our ground seasonings to saute a bit. Okay guys, so it has been two minutes since we have covered our pot. So now we now remove our pot cover and add a cup of warm water or hot water. Now never you throw the water on the meat, you to the side of the pot. Right, so after we put our water in, we now adjust our flame back to high yeah. like this and allow it to come to a sink Right, so now that our pot has come to a simmer, we're going to just cut our flame back down to a medium high, and then add half a cup of ketchup. And one tablespoon of sugar. Now the sugar is to cut the tanginess of the ketchup that we had in earlier. So now we're just gonna stir these in. And then we 
now add our bell peppers that we're saving. Stir this again. Cover our pot and just let that simmer for about 10 minutes and your stew chicken, your brown stew chicken will be ready, just be served. Okay guys, so here we have it, after 10 minutes, the chicken is finished cooking and ready to serve, so here we have it, our Jamaican brown stewed chicken. serve and enjoy thank you guys now please remember to subscribe 